the truth is that our mind is meant to be, and the way God designed our mind is it's just meant to be the stupid servant of our soul. <laughs> you mean obedient? Yeah, and stupid. It is stupid. When you think about your mind, you go and do something and half the time in a day you've got no idea why. <laughs> Be honest. How much time in a day do you spend doing something and if you really sat down and felt about it, you'd realise you didn't want to do it? You've got no idea why you're doing it. That, that, you just, why is that? Because you're not trusting your soul and your mind has become dominant. You feel you have to do it. Right? You're not trusting what's inside of here. You're wanting to do it. You're, you're wanting to do something different. And this is the problem with your mind, is if you let your mind be dominant, you are going to do a lot of things in your life that you're going to regret later. How many have done things that are regretted later? <laughs> Lots of us, right? Because we haven't followed our, our feelings about things, right? And I'm not talking about our feelings that are negative, because that's the difference with kettle of fish. I'm talking about feelings that are positive in terms of pure desire type of feelings. Right? When you follow those, everything always works. So, AJ, how can you tell the difference between intuitiveness and the mind? Yeah, yeah well, intuitive, intuition is from the soul. <coughs> the mind is just the intellect, obviously. So, the, 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 two, the source of those two feelings, if you like, are totally different. Right? Intuition is of the soul. And we'll talk more about sort of how to start trusting your intuition. Mind you, if my emotions in my soul are very negative, for example, if I have these huge feelings of unworthiness, where's my intuition going to lead me now? <laughs> it's going to lead me down into attracting all of this unworthy things, triggering this unworthiness. I'm going to be treated unworthily, aren't I? With the law of attraction. So bear in mind that only when we connect in a way with God's truth is our intuition even trustworthy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. AJ, I found that if, if a thought process goes away or it diminishes, it has, loses impact, I know I've gotten in the way. Yeah. But if a process comes from my soul and it's an intuition... <coughs> It keeps its intensity and I, the desire remains constant, but it's a sensitive call, it's kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. But I do find that I, when I get in the way, it diminishes mm. and I don't, I don't have that follow through or that desire or, so that might help that. Generally. Yeah, no, that, that is often the case. So bear in mind that what we're talking about here is there are two different influences on the soul. We'll talk more about that in a minute. So let's say our mind. There's our mind. Get used to it. Your mind is no good at determining truth. Right? The reason why is because all the truths that God created are soul truths. In fact, there's a whole... The only area that you'll ever be able to progress to in the spirit world, if you trust your mind, is the sixth sphere. Because when you trust your mind, you're not trusting anything outside of your mind, generally. You've become self-reliant rather than God-reliant. Right? You're trusting, you're not, there's this whole area of truth, and in fact the majority of the truths of the universe are based around soul truths. They're not based around the intellect at all. So if you are constantly trying to use the intellect to work out truth, eventually you're going to work out so much truth to the degree of a six-sphere spirit, but you will not progress beyond that point. Right? Now, it's a lovely place to be, the six-sphere. Right? And on the, even on the earth, it's a lovely place to be. There are many people on earth who are, who, who are channeling spirits who are in that state. But it's not the soul truths. Right? 